mind, I was asked to tell you a little bit about Herb Fest, and the first thing I got to tell you is Herb Fest has become synonymous with my flop hat, my garden hat. So I will wear that. Of course, I think you will think I look probably much better wearing it than I do this other way. But that's become the little symbol of, if you have an herb question, say, go talk to the guy with the flop hat on. That's how it started. Or that's how that tradition started. Herb Fest is actually an extension of where we used to have an herb shop. And then the oldest plant sale in Raleigh used to be the Mordecai Herb Sale. And Mordecai Park is where Andrew Johnson's house is, President of the United States. It's a historic park. What they would do each year is they would have one big sale at which they would take their volunteers and take little Dixie cups and fill them full of uh, soil and they would plant little herbs in them and they'd take a popsicle stick and write on the name of the herb on it. And they basically sold these, I think, for a dollar each. And this was their fundraiser. And they literally would sell thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 worth of herbs doing it that way. And it provided enough money for them to maintain Mordecai Park, which was on city of Raleigh's uh, property. And this is what they would use. Well, long story short, over time, what happened, you had many other lawn and garden shops, Home Depots, you had Lowe's, you had your other big people coming in. And so their garden sales were not that popular, nor were they as lucrative as they used to be. So one of the things that Mordecai did, they asked us at our herb shop, would you provide the plants and come over here and put them out and sell them for us and so on and so forth. And that is what we did. And we actually did the last sale there ever was at Mordecai. But what happens, the city of Raleigh had to pull away some of the land, which they had their greenhouse on. So it sort of spelled the doom of the Mordecai herb sale. When we came to Wake Forest, one of the first things that my wife and I noticed was what a nice little quaint town. It's got a nice historical background. Uh, you've got the Wake Forest College started here. There's a lot of history here, and when you look back at Wake Forest College, it was the first medical school, first female graduates of a college in North Carolina came here. And one of the things we said, is, you know, this would tie in with an herb sale. Let's revive the Mordecai type herb sale. And back when they started the medical school there, the botany department was the pharmacology department. And so you actually used herbs and a lot more plants because those were your basis for what we now use our, many of our modern day pharmaceuticals for. That's how this got started. And then we moved on in and got it started with one day and then we moved it to three days and then uh, now we've got it to 10 days and we're trying to turn it into, or it already is, a lifestyle festival. It's not a plant sale, not an herb sale, it's a lifestyle festival. And that's the types of things we've noticed the customers come for because they're looking for a different type of lifestyle. And that's very synonymous with Wake Forest, the town. There is a place where you can go Learn something new and always stop to say hello Walk through the trees, enjoy the scene Watch us grow